Okay, in this set of slides, we're going to talk about periodic trends. And there's three of them that we're going to talk about. The first one is going to be atomic radius. The second one is ionization energy. And the third is electronegativity. So we're going to start with atomic radius. So let's define it. Uh, atomic radius is defined as one half the distance between the nuclei of two atoms of the same element when they are joined. And so down here, you have a diagram. You have the same element, which is denoted by color, so meaning the same element. Here's the total dif dis distance between the nuclei. So there's the nucleus here. And it's one half of that. That's called atomic radius. And so if you think about the periodic table, in general, the atomic size increases from top to bottom within a group, and it decreases from left to right across a period. And so on this one, you see it all graphed out. You have atomic number all the way up to cesium. And then you have atomic radius. And it even writes in the periods here for you. And so if you look within a period, uh, you can see that the atomic radius is decreasing across a period as you're um, increasing atomic number here. Uh, this yellow denotes a group. All these are in group one. And you can see that they're generally increasing as you move down. This is from top to bottom. This is on the bottom of the group here. Let's look at the periodic table and I'll talk about the logic. And so if you um, move across a uh, period, so left to right, it generally it's generally decreasing in atomic size. And the reason why is because if you think about, say you're thinking about group or uh, period two here, uh, this element has one more proton than this element. This element has one more proton than this one. This one has this one because of the arrangement of the periodic table. And so uh, as you're adding more and more protons to your nucleus, it's getting more and more positively charged. And that outermost electron is being attracted more and more to the positive, increasing positive charge. And so it's being sucked in, creating a smaller atomic radius in general. All right, as you move from top to bottom, as you see here, it is increasing, and the reason why is because you are adding energy levels as you move down, you're, as you're going across, changing the periods. So each successive period has one more energy level. Each energy level is further and further away from the nucleus, uh, and which increases, in general, the atomic size. Okay, the next trend is ionization energy. Uh, it's energy required to remove an electron from an atom. And in general, uh, ionization energy uh, decreases from top to bottom within a group, and it increases from left to right across the period. And as you can note, denote that this is uh, exactly the opposite of atomic radius. They're, they're linked, and I'll describe that later. And so if you look here, you have atomic number, as you can't see, but these are this is atomic number here. This is first ionization energy plotted here. And then in, within here, this is a across the period. So if we're starting with lithium, which is element three, and you're moving across the period. As you see, in general, ionization energy is increasing. And you see the same here. In general, ionization energy is increasing. And energy, um, ionization energy is generally increasing here as well. Then if you look here, this is the group in yellow. You can see that as you move down, up to down, generally decreasing. As you move from here, each of these is generally decreasing. Let's apply it to the periodic table. So here's your periodic table. As you move left to right, ionization energy is generally increasing. And the reason why is because the atomic radius is doing exactly the opposite. It's decreasing. And so the outermost electron is closer to the nucleus. And the attraction is much uh, stronger as you move from left to right, and uh, it'll require more energy to pluck off that electron. And uh, as you move from top to bottom, the ionization energy is generally decreasing because the atomic radius is increasing, and it, so the outermost electron is further away from the nucleus, so the attraction between the two is less, and it takes less energy to pluck off that electron. Okay, and the last one is electronegativity, and that's the ability of an atom to um, 
attract electrons from an atom from another atom when it's in a compound? And in general, electronegativity values decrease from top to bottom within a group. And electronegativity um, tends to increase from left to right across the periodic table. So it is um, exactly the same as uh, ionization energy. And so if you look at the periodic table, and we'll talk about the logic, as you move left to right, electronegativity is increasing. And the reason why is because um, it's related, again, to atomic radius. And so as you move left to right, uh, atomic radius is decreasing. And um, the nucleus is able to attract an outer electron outside the, um, the atom way more because of the atomic radius is uh, a lot smaller. And so therefore, as you move left to right, the electronegativity is increasing. And as you move from top to bottom, uh, electronegativity is decreasing because uh, you have your atomic radius increasing as you move from top to bottom. And that um, positively charged nucleus can't attract outside electrons as well because the distance is further. 